Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Tanika. Today I have another Kmart haul. Oh my goodness, I feel like it's been quite a while since I've done one. It probably hasn't, but I've definitely been reducing my trips due to this whole COVID thing. But look, I still managed to get quite a pile here. So if you're excited to see what I picked up, then keep on watching. Starting off with my favorite thing from this haul, I have a pair of jeans, but not only are they just a boring pair of jeans, they are mum jeans. Oh my goodness. So I picked these ones up in the size 10. They were only $20. You see that? Now let me tell you that I have been on the hunt for a pair of mum jeans for so long. But what I end up realizing is that they just don't suit my body type. I have tried on a million pairs and all of them are just way too tight around my bum and my thighs. And it just makes them uncomfortable. It squashes everything and mm, I'm not here for that. So I kind of gave up. I recently picked up the high rise jeans, I think in my last Kmart haul. And I was like, all right, these are going to be my definition of mum jeans because it's the closest I'm ever gonna get. And then Kmart just delivers. Now these, they have some stretch to them. So they fit around my chunky bum and my chunky thighs while still giving that mum jean style. They're quite tight around the waist. Like there's not a lot of stretch in the waist, but there is a lot of stretch in the leg. I seriously feel like a Monica from Friends when I put these on. They are so 90s. <gasps> I love them. I love the wash of the denim as well. Really pretty. They are super high-waisted. I'll insert a try-on clip as well so you can see what they look like. I am just loving Kmart's jeans lately. Like, they are doing something right there. The next piece of clothing I picked up is this lightweight active jumper. So it's got a hood, long sleeves, quite a thin material, but it is really really soft bit of a stretch to it as well so i picked up the size 10 and it was 15 dollars now i got this because i've been going for some walks lately i actually end up quitting the gym because i only go for the classes and after covid a few of the trainers didn't have their jobs anymore and the class schedules got all mixed up didn't suit me so anyway i quit the gym i'm now a walking gal doing some stretches and some yoga at home. So I thought that this little jumper would be perfect for my evening walks. I got this, I think it's like a charcoal shade. Oh, it says black, but it does have a bit of a fade to it. And they also come in a gray, which was really nice. My next item also has to do with exercise. And again, I picked this up because I ditched the gym. And these are the micro stretch bands. So it comes with four. You've got light to extra heavy. And these are for like putting around your knees or your thighs, you know, doing some squats, doing some leg stuff. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm really into fitness. But I thought these would be great for when I'm doing my Pilates at home, just to give me a little bit extra. Mm. Because at the gym, I was doing a reformer Pilates, which uses resistance kind of style training. So I thought these would be great. They were only like, look, I can't remember, but I'm going to say less than $10. So now that I've shown these to you, I guess I should start using them. <laughs> Next, I picked up another finger grip phone stand or pop socket, as I call them. This is actually like a really nice white kind of crystal looking effect. I go through these like a lot. I don't know why. I feel like they break a bit, but I love them for the back of my phone for holding it. When I don't have one, I I don't know what to do. <laughs> like, I don't know, like when I grab someone else's phone and they don't have a pop socket, I'm like, how do you, how do you hold this? Like, what? But anyway, these are only like $2, $2.50 and I love them, I love them. Oh my God, the next product. <laughs> I'm so excited about and I've been waiting for Kmart to bring this back in stock for so long now and it is a good old-fashioned shopping list. Now I am a pen and paper kind of gal when it comes to meal planning and my shopping list 
and they used to have a shopping list with categories like this, but then they just got rid of it and brought out this plain old shopping list with no categories. And I was like, how am I meant to categorize my groceries? So anyway, they finally brought this out again. It's got meat, poultry and fish, home essentials, fruit and veg, dairy and miscellaneous. Miscellaneous, that's how you say it, right? And anyway, it's got a magnet on the back so you can stick it to your fridge. I really love this because throughout the week when I run out of something or think of something, I can just write it down on my list. And then when it comes to Sunday, Monday, when I do my meal planning, I've got it here so I don't forget anything. So yes, I was very, very excited that the shopping list come back. Next, I picked up these candles. Pretty boring, really. They are just unscented, plain old candles, but I love the ambience of a candle. So I'll usually light one of my good ones, like one of my glass house fragrances or something from dusk that smells really beautiful. And then I like to have a few others just lit in the background you know, to create that nice, calm vibe. The next thing that is home related, and I'm positive I showed some of these in my last haul as well, but I can't help myself. I picked up these clear containers. I cannot rave enough about how much I love these clear containers. They come in all different shapes and sizes. Here we have a long, thin one. Here we have a square, a square container. And here we have a bigger rectangle container. Now these range from four to seven dollars perhaps, maybe two dollars because they're smaller ones. And I use them to organize so much stuff in my house. I'll insert a clip now showing you a variety of things that I organize in these containers. I've got one with scrunchies, sunglasses, hair accessories. I use them in my bathroom drawers to organize all my little oils and what not. I use them in the pantry, in the fridge. They are just an all round organizer and they are so cheap. They look really nice because they're just clear. I love it when everything matches. So look, I did pick up a few that I don't necessarily need right now, but when I get in one of those moods where I want to organize, it's nice to have them on hand. Next, I picked up some makeup from e.l.f. This is the Halo Glow Setting Powder. And I've heard pretty good things about this. It says it's a soft focus powder. So I'm getting the vibe that it's going to leave a nice kind of glowy, luminous look instead of a matte look. It was $19 and I got the shade Light. Kmart actually has a really good range of e.l.f. products. e.l.f. does have an Australian website which you can shop from, which obviously has everything, but Kmart has a pretty good range of e.l.f. So I'm excited to give this one a go. And then lastly, I picked up some books. I could spend so long in the book section at Kmart just browsing and reading and, and don't even get me started when I head over to the cookbook section. <laughs> oh my God. So the first one I picked up is called Period Queen. And this says, life hack your cycle and own your power all month long. So I use the app called Flow, which is a period tracker, and it comes up with little tips and information every now and then. And it was talking about the different phases of your cycle. And it got me interested. And when I was browsing the shelves at Kmart, that is exactly what this book talks about. So let me find a little example for you. So here is a little chart and you've got four phases, menstruation, pre-ovulation, ovulation, and pre-menstruation. And it talks about how the hormones affect you during these phases and what you should be doing during these phases. So for example, you've got the dream phase, the do phase, the give and the take. I know this book won't be for everyone because periods can be a little bit of a taboo topic, but they shouldn't be. And that's exactly what this book talks about, making it a normal conversation topic and how women can embrace their periods and do more throughout the month. So I'm really loving it so far. Let me know if you want to hear how it goes. And then the next book I picked up is The Complete Guide to Self-Care. 
So this says it's about best practices for a healthier and happier you. I've always been interested in reading about self-care and just taking the time to chill because it's hard. Like we are all so busy. It takes a lot to just sit down and completely stop. And I find when I do try and sit down and stop, the back of my mind's going like, what are you doing? Why aren't you doing something? You could be doing something. Don't just sit there. So <laughs> I thought this book would be quite a good one for me. Just flicking through it, you've got things about physical self-care. There's stuff in here about yoga, walking and stretching. We've got the mindset, boundaries, which is a good one. Um, rituals, self-love, efficiency. So, you know, just lots of great topics. I actually haven't started reading this one yet because it does take me quite a while to get through a book. I've probably been at this period queen book for four weeks and I'm only this far in, so I will get to it eventually. Well, that is all for my Kmart haul today. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to see more Kmart content, I have an entire playlist, a ton of hauls, some online shop with me's. So if you want to check it out, I'll have a link down below. If you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would take a look around and consider subscribing. And if you aren't already, make sure you come and follow me over on Instagram. Well, I hope you're all having a fabulous day. Make sure you leave me a comment below letting me know what your recent Kmart purchases have been. And I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye.